Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Zamore here, and I am doing week one of the Terminus Challenger League. This is a league with YouTubers and such. So I will be dropping the link to the Tenacious Fox YouTube channel down in the description below. I'm gonna go ahead and tell him uh good luck, have fun. Um we drafted some Pokemon. I will make a video about what we drafted later on. But for now, just know we pretty much have a rain team. And uh, you can see he has some threats over there on his side. So let's go ahead and see how this battle will break down. Uh, I think I'm going to leave Kamikaze here. Uh, I can get a Protect Facade. I mean, I can get Protect to boost my Flame Orb. Uh, or I could just go for the U-turn to get damage off on this thing. Because I don't know what this thing wants to do. Because Bartender's a pretty good... Uh, response to it um yeah i'm gonna go for the u-turn let's see what it decides to do i don't know what this thing could be uh, of course mew has the ability to learn all kind of moves so it could be defensive it could be offensive he could be ready to dragon dragon dance sweet me he could be a uh, cosmic power stored power <laughs> Which would be really annoying because I've lost that way before. I mean, there's just so much he could do. He could even just be a defensive set. Um, and uh, just try to, uh, yeah, do that. Get stealth rocks up and such. So, let's see. Sticky webs isn't really going to hurt his team. I'm just going to try to get my stealth rocks off too. Or don't, either way. But, um,. Let's see, I'm going to try to infestation. <laughs> Alright, we're already off to a bad start. Uh, Fox here is the number one ranked team in the league right now based off draft alone. Of course, this is week one, so no one's done real battles yet other than some people who have already done theirs for this week. But, you know, you don't get... You're, everything was based off the draft alone. So he has the top team. Of course, look at the threats he has. He has Mammoth, Swine, Salamence, Mew. Even Drapion can be a threat as well. If we can't get these rocks up, Moltres is going to be a problem. But he clicked U-turn, so we shall see what we're trapping in here with us with our infestation. And he actually goes Great Chicken. So, oh, and we get burned. Well, at least we can't get toxic to death. So that's kind of a blessing in disguise, because if we do get uh, set up in front of Mew again... Um, I'm sure it'll just go for taunt, but next time we'll be able to trap it. Well, actually, no, U-turn will get it out. But um, let's go ahead and go to Nigel here. Get our rain up. It's a little earlier than I wanted to, but we'll get it up nonetheless. And let's go Hippocampus, our Kingdra. We have a lot of turns to work with here i'm just going to go for the surf i'm going to hit what's in front of me i don't have to predict this thing can hit hard he'll probably go mock punch which should be fine or fake out oh, okay fake out mock punch shouldn't kill us based off that damage it will put us uh really low though but as long as we could break walls on to break some holes in his team, I'll be fine with that. Cause I mean we lost rain for the rest of the rest of the match, so I'm just gonna be in here clicking buttons. <laughs> Lord Jeff telling us don't lose either of you. Ah, that's gonna be kind of hard. Uh, hopefully, you know I don't lose this match, but we shall see. And uh, he seems to be conflicted on what he wants to do with this next turn. Fake out was a good turn, though, because it did waste one of my rain turns. But like I said, we were damp rock, so we still have plenty of turns to go. I think uh, five more turns. He has six Pokemon, so I don't know if we'll be able to outspeed and sweep the rest of them. So we shall see what he decides to do here. We're just waiting on him to make a move. I do love Hitmonchan's shiny, though. It did carry me in one of my drafts until I lost in the semifinal. But either way, that is a tremendous Pokemon he has on his team. All 
All right. He is taking a while to pick what he wants to do here. I guess he's going to let a great chicken go down. So Hippocampus is going to get off another. So Hitmonchan's going to get off another. Uh, uh, what do you call it? A fake out. So I guess I'll just quick surf. So I'm assuming he's going to switch out again, which is fine. I'm just going to go for the sub. So the next time he comes in with fake out, it doesn't break. Oh, so he stays in, unlike last time. I guess he doesn't want to lose anybody else. So I'm just going to go surf. Oh, and Ali actually lives. That special defense coming in clutch. So we do lose our Kingdra there. All right, now Kamikaze can come in. And we should be able to take it out with the facade. But it is pretty defensive. Hmm, do I risk it for the biscuit? Let me let me calc this actually. He took a while on that last one. So calc. Swello. Uh Swello. Guts. Flame orb. Guts. Facade. Not burned yet. Healthy to a Hitmonchan. Okay, yeah. So we don't kill here. So I'm just going to go for the Protect. He goes for the Thunder Punch. Knowing we couldn't kill there. Now we're facade boosted. So now I'm going to go for the facade. This will kill now. And if he decides to switch, it'll put some heavy damage on whatever decides to come in. Pretty sure Mammo comes in now, though. And, of course, it does. So we're going to go to the bartender. Because, yeah, I shard Elkos. All right, now we're going to go for our own Stealth Rocks to get him switching so we can get some damage off on his Pokemon as well. Hopefully he's banded right there so he has to switch out because uh, I think Earthquake has a chance to KO us from here. I do have max HP, max defense, so there's a chance we'll live, but you never know. That is a Mammal Swine, and if it is banded, it probably takes us out. All right, so Scorpion King comes in. And there's not much I want to stay in here for, so I'm just going to infestation. I'm just going to infestation here for now. We'll get some good chip damage off. Uh if he's if he is scarf, he's stuck in this move. I'm just going to go for Sticky Webs just to go for it. We die to burn. All right. So he's faster than us for sure. So I'm going to go Kamikaze here and just click facade. Maybe it'll force him to switch. But either way, we get good chip damage if he stays in. And then we'll go to uh, Saber to bolt switch specs out. And honestly, I think we lose from here because I don't know if we have enough firepower to take out that tanky Mew if Kamikaze goes down. So I'm really hoping Facade takes out the Scorpion King or he just switches. This Drapion, of course. Which is a fantastic nickname, and I don't know why I've never thought of that. Alright, so he's probably calcing, uh, thinking of his moves that he wants to do here. Lord Jess said he uh, prefers the spec scrappy boom burst set on Swallow, but I honestly like the physical attacking aspect of it. But, you know, I ain't, I ain't afraid to bring the scrappy boom burst set if I need to. But I just didn't think it would help in this battle too much. So we are down 
by one, so it's four to three. He is really thinking about this next move. Kamikaze is showing off his beautiful green feathers here, and it's ready to smack something with the sun. Stab guts boosted. Facade doubled thanks to uh, the burn. Uh, how fast is this compared to him? Okay, I'm going to assume the ice shard's coming. Because I kind of need that power to take out uh, Mew. And Mammoth Swine. I mean, uh, and Salamence. So I'm going to go Lethal Dose here. This might be throwing. But I kind of I kind of need to do something. I need to get on the offensive. Okay. So now I'm going to go Saber or Specs. Uh, I'm going to go uh, Scald. It's the only thing I can do. And hopefully it kills. Hopefully it doesn't switch. If he switches here, it's pretty much over. I don't think I can take out uh, Salamance in two hits with uh, Specs Scald. Okay, he goes to Mew. Alright. So, I'm going to go to... He's going to attack me. I can only come in one more time. So, I'm just going to scald. He goes U-turn. He was probably going to go back to Mamo there. But now he might just go to Salamence. And if we can get a burn on Salamence, we might have a chance. But I highly doubt it. Yeah, if he goes D dance here, it's over either way. So I'm just going to scold. Maybe Specs wasn't the best way to go here. But yeah, he's going to get a nice 2-1 two, two to one win. Unless he's Scarfed, then it's over anyway. Okay, so our first outing, we don't do too bad. Uh, we do lose 2-0. But, I mean, that's as good as you can get against uh, rank 1 when you're a rank 5 in the league. So, GG to Fox, and good luck in your next week's battle. And I will be seeing you guys next time.